Hi, you're watching SCW The Wrestling Channel here on YouTube.com. Thank you for choosing the channel and choosing the video. Make sure to subscribe right now or leave the comments in the comment section. Like and share the video as well. NXT TakeOver San Antonio is upon us, of course, this Saturday evening. Uh, five matches have been announced, which I'll be going through you now on the preview and predictions video right here. Going to be starting with two people kind of finding their groove in NXT. Roderick Strong versus Andre Cien Almas. Almas coming across a lot better since the heel turn in the last couple of months. Strong now, I'm expecting to be the stronger booked here. I think he's going to have a good NXT run when he gets uh, going and more connection with the NXT audience. And I think that it makes most sense here for him to get a victory in this opening contest on NXT's TakeOver. So I'm going to go for a victory for Roderick Strong. Moving on next is Ty Dillinger, the perfect 10 against Eric Young of Sanity. I am loving the Sanity gimmick. I think it's got a great uh, theme entrance music. I love the way that comes to the ring. I love the fact that uh, the, the members involved, we've also got uh, Nikki Cross involved as well, a female with this group. And uh, literally, they do absolutely look absolutely bonkers. So uh, I think they have got a great future ahead of them, and I think it's going to be great in NXT and eventually perhaps even on the main roster of Raw or SmackDown. There is room for this sort of uh, faction, particularly maybe when the White family is no more, or even if it's on the opposite brand as well, it could work having Sanity there. So uh, I'm going to say that Eric Young is going to win this match. I think it makes most sense going forward. Tyler Dillinger seems to be uh, trying to find himself in NXT, questioning himself as a lot as well with his recent losses to Bobby Roode, uh, Samoa Joe, as well uh, he's probably going to say to himself well do you know what I just, uh, you know, what have I got to do? And then probably it will clip some sage. You know what? I know what I need to do. And hopefully that will lead to the surprise entrant at the Royal Rumble as the number 10 spot for Ty Dinger and making his move to the main roster. That's what I'm hoping for. Uh, and I think it would make most sense for this to happen. So if Dinger loses at TakeOver, I'm hoping that will lead him into the Royal Rumble match. So there you go. Eric Young to pick up the victory. Next, we will look at the NXT Tag Team Championships. DIY, of course, Johnny Gagano, Tommaso Ciampa will be defending the NXT titles against the Authors of Pain, of course, with Paul Ellery. Authors of Pain, undefeated up till now. I'm going to keep this short and sweet. They're going to win the belts. Um, they're going to be probably the undefeated tag team throughout the time at NXT. Um, and I don't see them losing, so I think they will be winning the belts here. The only way they will not be walking away with the championships if there is a DQ finish, and I just don't see that happening on the takeover. This isn't like Raw or SmackDown, we seem to get conclusive finishes here in NXT, and I think that uh, the Authors of Pain will be walking away with the tag team belts. Moving on next, to make sure this isn't such a uh, obvious pay-per-view of how matches are going to go, Oscar is defending her Women's Championship in a fatal four-way match against Billy Kay, Peyton Royce, and of course Nikki Cross of Sanity. Of course, Billy Kay and Peyton Royce are kind of a duo together, the Australian women as well, so uh, will they try and pin each other to make sure that uh, they actually get the championship and sort of, you know, in a team kind of way will they turn each other in the match time will tell um, I think for me personally Oscar is still going to walk away here as the victor pinning or submitting one of these two women I don't see it being Nikki Cross doing the job here I think this is just to make it look that Oscar could lose the belt without being pinned just to make it kind of a bit more unpredictability factor but I think Oscar versus Ember Moon will be taking place at the following takeover in Florida because uh, of course Ember Moon is still undefeated as well so I think that's the dream match they're looking forward towards wrestling on your weekend and I think they're going to stick with that so Oscar is going to pick up the victory and I'm going to say that she's going to be either Billy Kay or Peyton Royce in this match last but certainly not least NXT Championship match Shinsuke Nakamura versus the glorious Bobby Roode um, for me personally I think this is going to be the first of a couple of matches in the series with these two uh, I'm a belief that Shinsuke Nakamura will actually keep the belt on this particular occasion because NXT title has changed a couple of times in recent months I don't believe it's a title that is normally a hot potato and goes around quite freely so I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with Shinsuke Nakamura to pick up the victory in this particular match Bobby Roode then will lose for the first time but then I reckon he'll get his rematch at the following takeover and that's possibly where we'll see a glorious NXT champion so that's my predictions for you there for NXT takeover San Antonio what are your predictions let me know your feelings in the comments below like and share the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already um, and of course I'm keeping you up to date with everything of Royal Rumble as well we're going to start the road to Wrestlemania and it all begins here. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching and uh, yeah, keep an eye on the channel. I'll see you next time here on youtube.com. Take care.